up YouTube? How are you? I'm Pallav from nothingwire.com and today we're talking about the brand new Intex Equa Gen X. Now the Gen X is a flagship device from this Indian manufacturer. It's a beautiful metal body, all premiumness, you know. Uh, we have the silver model. You also get the champagne gold, by the way. And this one will cost just under 14,000 and was announced, I think, in the third week of December. And guess what? This guy, the Gen X, will be available with your offline brick and mortar stores as well. Now that's something for which I really appreciate Index because I have seen a lot of other mon uh, you know manufacturers apart from those uh, top players like Samsung, Apple, etc. Go online only, um, you know, increase the demand, um, pseudo, and then. Um, you know gives a registration process and this and that so it gets very frustrating for the end user you know you love one device you should be able to buy it because you're paying the full price and for that i've always loved a combination of online and uh, offline availabilities now you might be able to you know buy this online as well but there is no exclusivity here plus you should be able to buy this offline as well so that's something really really good if you like this device so let's go ahead and check out an in-depth unboxing and first look of the index gen x so the gen x comes in this very rectangular typical index box you see mostly black accent to give it a premium feeling and that's the phone out there aqua gen x and 5.5 inch full hd display nothing much on the side except here where you have uh, the color and then the marketing and uh, pricing information so we have the silver color you also get the champagne gold color and 13999 is the mrp on the back you have some quick specs so as i told you before 5.5 inch screen full hd resolution ips glass protected by dragon trail uh, glass and then one glass solution uh, it has a mediatek 1.3 gigahertz octa core processor uh, I think it's a 6753 series of chipset, 16 GB of ROM, 2 GB of RAM and then the Mac micro SD card can go to 128 GB. 13 plus 5 MP, the 13 MP camera has face detection autofocus system for faster autofocus locking. 2850 milliampere battery, we'll have to check that that slightly, looks like slightly lower on paper at least now. Android Lollipop 5.1, we do not have any official confirmation on when this device will get Marshmallow update, if at all, and some of the other things out there. See, dual SIM of course, but it's a hybrid uh, dual SIM combination or arrangement, so you have to remove one SIM to be able to insert your SD card and then those other things. So let's go ahead and quickly open the box here. So there we go so first as usual we have the device and wow it feels heavy but it's mostly metal so good then what we have we have the earphones let's go ahead and take this off and see how the earphone looks like flat wire won't entangle good a uh, silver plated audio jack we like gold plated better you have call control mic and then this in-ear noise cancelling type so looks fairly premium and then you have the wall adapter and let's see that yeah. 1500 milliampere wall adapter and then you have extra pair of plastic there, rubber, earbuds, and then your micro USB 2.0 cable, SIM opener tool, and then some paperwork. That's the apps manual, lots of partnership going on there. You have the user manual and then the warranty card. And also you get a scratch card free. So that is our phone. It's slightly on the heavier side, but looks absolutely gorgeous. And definitely a flagship for Intex. So let's go ahead and take off this unnecessary plastic over here. Very nice, gorgeous device. Ooh, I would love to flaunt this. That's the 5.5 inch screen there. The camera modules and all. There you see. Very nice aluminum accent matte here diamond cut edges 
that gives the hold plus gives the device a premium look and feel. The speaker grill out there, the camera model, everything is superb and I don't know, it might remind you of a certain HTC device but it also holds its own in certain design areas. Lovely device. Wow, lovely screen. Very, very bright. But I hate this icon borders out here. Why don't you leave the icons alone? Love it. Good viewing angle, you can see. Great. And let's go ahead and show you the hybrid SIM arrangement here. So that's that's the one. So it possibly take two micro SIM or a micro SD card and a micro SIM. And let's go ahead and check out the camera now. Straight away, where's the camera? There you go. 13 MP camera by default comes to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And let's see. Good. So this guy goes to 16 by 9 in 13 MP. So it has a wide angle widescreen sensor. Pretty fast. But not apps not a zero leg though. Pretty faster than the autofocus I'm saying. And then that's the front. Which returns to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. You can see it cuts the screen here. And lag just a tad bit there. 5 MP. Also does not have a flash in front. And you have some of the shooting modes out there. Okay. I like the shutter sound there. So then some of those so we'll come back to those later in our full review uh, let's quickly go ahead and check out some of the apps those those yeah missions Wi-Fi hotspots and whatnot yeah. Google now Yep, that's the recent app and then that's the settings about phone and where is the storage there's the storage so 11.18 GB is available out of 16 GB yeah now let's go ahead and check out the RAM usage when the phone is idle so we go to the running tab here I can see out of 2 GB Roughly just over 50% of RAM is in use even though we do not have any background apps running here. It's slightly on the higher side. That's okay. Does not have double tap to sleep. So that's the Intex Aqua Gen X. I absolutely love the device, love the display and also the camera should be good. So please look forward to the full review here. Thank you.